So here we go, we're starting our Iron Man Let's Play on the Iron Horse map. I've just brought up the map view of the fruit types and you can see what is actually growing in our fields. We actually own quite a lot of grass fields, in fact, looking at it, we might even own every single one. I think we do. So grass is not going to be a problem at all, providing we can get the machinery to, har to actually cut it, um, which we don't have any of at the moment. So first of all, we're going to have to do some harvesting. And you can see that the fields which we own have got barley in, and nothing else. We only have barley as a cereal, so we're going to be doing quite a bit of barley harvesting. Uh, the fields which we don't own are all empty, so uh, you can do whatever you want to them basically when you go and buy them. But we've got a lot of barley to harvest, so I think we should probably crack on. I think we should probably start with a nice simple field, such as field 56, which is, believe it or not, next to 57. You can see it on the far right of the screen there, far right of the map. Um, it's probably a bit deceptive as well. I think it's probably a bigger field than it looks. So let's get straight into it. We're going to be driving the stayer today as our main tractor. So we'll get it started up. We'll hitch onto our trailer, which is just here. I don't like reversing this trailer, but I can live with it. So, we're actually very close to field 56 here, it's just I don't know how to get there, which is a bit of an issue. So let's just make our way around here, there's a front weight here but I don't think we need it. So I'll probably actually just put that out of the way somewhere. Just pop it over here. Okay, so let's go. Let's go and get the harvester as well. Let ourselves out of here. If we can get to a main road, I know how to get there. Through a little hamlet. Right, so it must be left out of here, I would assume. And then left again. And then straight up here, we may have to cut through field 57. Unless the road goes round. Which it looks like it does. There's the entrance to field 57. And it looks like this is 56. And yeah, it is a bigger field than it looks. So I'll just pull over to the side. And I'm going to get the combine. I'm going to attach it to the header trailer. Luckily this combine you can tow the header trailer with. I don't like it when you can't because it's not really that difficult to tow it. And it just makes a bit of a faff when you have to use another tractor just to move the header. Now, how would you get out of the yard? That is a good question. Is it through here? It is. Uh, another good question is how would you get to the field? I think we'll go this way. I don't want to lose my header though. It's still on there. Um, hmm, I don't know. It's such a maze. I'm thinking to go up here, cut across, and then go over the river. We should be fairly close. I'm still going. It's actually a lot further than I initially thought. Because you've got to go up the hill. So... Really, if I just keep going, I'm eventually going to get to the field. It is just such a maze, though, this road. Could actually cut through here. Oh, look at this! Now we're on the incline. Now this is a, this is the final road. 
until we get to the field. Thank goodness. It's taken long enough. Uh, but, yeah, you, this is the reason why I've had to go the long way around, because there's a hill, so you can't just cut across to the field. I've had to go right round it and then climb it. It's because all the equipment spawns in different areas. Ah, and up here is the Mapper's Paradise logo. It's been a long journey, but we're finally here. Yeah, there's the, the Mapper's Paradise logo. That's on my channel page, if you have noticed it. That's the field we're doing today. Now, I don't have a baler, so I can't really bail it. Um, that's an unnecessary expense at this stage because I would like to get some grass working equipment as well. Uh, I know if I say that then a lot of people are going to comment and say that it was a waste not to bail it but then I can't afford it so I would do if I had a baler obviously. It's actually a really good field to bail because it's so straight. Rectangular shape. I'll drop that off there and I'll put the header on. Now I've decided that I'm going to be able to use a worker. I'm going to use workers even though I'm playing on Iron Man. Uh, but I'm not going to do any bank loans. I'm not allowed to borrow any money. I think it would be unrealistic not to have workers. But bank loans, that makes it more challenging anyway. So I don't want to do that. So basically what's going to happen here is I'm going to harvest it without worker but then when it comes to selling or unloading I'll put a worker on so let me just make sure straw swath is off to unfold it and we'll get cracking it's a big field And there's a really nice chopped straw mod as well. Another thing I like about this map is the uniqueness of each field. No field is the same and there's also some incredibly unusual shapes as well. 41 for example, which is one of our fields which has got barley in, that is a really weird shape, it's like curved at the top, so it would be fun to harvest that one, but I think one of my priorities is to get a bigger combine, because all of these fields can be justified for getting a bigger combine, and also getting some grass working equipment, that is my priority, um, and also to make it a really hard challenge, uh, basically, if my money drops into negative figures, game over. We don't do any more on the map. That makes it so difficult, but obviously I'm going to try really hard to make sure it does not go into negative figures because I want to play this map for quite a long time, as there is so much to do. But yeah, just got to keep an eye on that, and he's playing real time. I can't do any skipping of time because that would be ridiculous, I'd lose all my money. Uh, so. Yeah, this is going to be tough. But I have proved before that if you keep going, even on hard mode, you can make a lot of money. It's just not half as quick, and it's not half as easy. So the key is not to let that number go into ne negative figures. I think even with this combine, it's going to take a long time this field. It really is big. At least I can get all the way around the field without having to unload. That saves having to move the tractor each time. Obviously I'm not full, but I'm going to empty it anyway, so I won't make it round again.
unload at the front first. And I'm going to head around again. Really just keep doing the headlands and then we'll go up and down the field until we need to go into the trailer. It's definitely not a hard field to do because of its shape. It's just quite big. Well, I'm getting on okay. I've emptied another full tank load into the trailer. So we, we probably need one more load and then it'll be ready to go and sell. Actually, I haven't checked. Oh no, I don't, no, I won't have any. I was thinking if, if I'm playing on hard, if I've got any uh, grain storage, but I don't think you get any if you're playing on hard. So it really is hard, but it's going to be very tough. We'll have to find the best sell point for this grain. I don't want to be losing out anywhere. No doubt the best sell point will be the furthest point, but you know, if it, if it means travelling a bit further for more money, a lot more money, then it's obviously worth it. And I want to avoid using a worker as much as possible, even though I am going to use one at, such, at some point, because obviously it costs money. And when you're using a worker, it can can take away a lot more money than you, than you think. And you look and you're in negative figures, so you've got to be very careful. Well, that's the third headland completed. I did go up and down here just so I could get enough to fill the combine. But we'll now be going up and down to fill anyway. making progress though. I think it's because when you go round a field it can take, well it feels like it's taking ages and then suddenly you keep going and then you've almost finished the field so it's not actually as big as it looks in a way but then it is, I don't know, it's hard to say. I'm sort of contradicting myself a bit there but I don't know, it is deceptive. Just keep at it and it'll be done in no time. Right, I think it's on about 50%. Uh, where's the inspector mod? Uh, yeah, 50, 51%. That was a good guess. So, I think probably one one more combine load in there. It'll be. I won't fit two more in. And then we'll put it on a worker. Okay, so we've got 70% remaining in the trailer. We have virtually another full tank load over here. I've missed a few bits. That's uh, when, I, when I do it in the cab, I tend to miss a few bits by accident. Just to find cab view driving more realistic. Now, I've just got to wait for it to slowly turn around. It can be very slow.
now we're going to have to check and see which cell point to take it to. Come on, I've got to get 100%. There we go. Okay. Right, I don't know what it is with the flickering OK button, but it seems to keep flickering. So we've got Blobby's Tasty Pies um, at £367 per tonne. 371 at the Dam Grain, um, 294 at the Farm Shop, 240 at the Freight Yard, 367 at Iron Dam Cafe. So the Station Inn is the best one at 371. So where is that? Aha, I can see it. Okay, that is not going to be too easy. Um, we should probably check and see how much the, that the Valley Grain Store is. Ah, well, that's much closer for only. What's that? Four four pounds different. It's not worth it. So we'll go to the close one. As it is so similar. It's basically another loop out of here though. This is when we go downhill. Slowly descending. It really would have been a long way to the other grain store. It wouldn't have even been worth it. But we have 21,000 litres here. Hey, it's the New Holland. 21,000 litres to sell. That should boost us up a bit. So it's at the end of here. I'll have to see if we can get it back before the combine's full. If I've got this unloaded before it gets to 50%, then we should do. Alright, which way? Um, in there is it, or is it in the other way? Might be able to go either way. Uh, just here. Alright, let's watch that money. It won't go up too much because we play on hard. Just keeps us out of debt. Alright, so I'm 42%, so we should get back in time. Although we will be climbing this time, so it will take longer. Easy, only 67% full. There it is over there, you can see it going up and down the field. Hopefully it's got a lot more done. Yeah, it's actually almost finished. Okay, we'll continue ourselves, save a bit of money. We're on the home straight now. We're almost finished. I'm hoping that's all going in. I think it is, yep. Just the right width. Now we'll park the combine up in the field, well, over near the head trailer, and then we'll sell the trailer load and see what we've got from our day's work. I don't think this end bit will go in. I'll just cut across this way.
and we're done. Let's get it unloaded. Fingers crossed that will stay on, it might need a bit of adjustment. But we'll pack that there. And we'll go and sell this. Only 44% full this time. Well, here we are. We're not going to get very much for this load. But still, not too bad. So, that is episode 2 on Iron Horse. Hopefully you're enjoying it. I certainly am, but it is very difficult, has to be said. If you play on easy with all the big equipment, it'd be dead easy. But, um, yeah, it's only because I'm setting myself such a massive challenge here. But, thanks for watching, and you can join me again tomorrow for more on Iron Horse. Bye for now.